Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are diving into the legendary world of the F-117 Nighthawk, one of the most revolutionary fighter jets ever created by the United States. This aircraft changed the way wars were fought and made military history as the world's first operational stealth aircraft. Known for its sharp, angular shape and radar-evading capabilities, the F-117 is a true symbol of American innovation, engineering mastery, and airpower dominance. In this video, we'll explore everything about the Nighthawk, from its development and secret missions to its technical features, combat roles, and the actual US dollar cost of this extraordinary aircraft. Let's begin with a look at how the F-117 came to life. The idea of a stealth aircraft had been circulating within the US military since the Vietnam War, where American jets were frequently targeted by radar-guided surface-to-air missiles. It became clear that the future of aerial warfare would depend on avoiding detection. In the late 1970s, Lockheed Martin's Secretive Skunk Works Division took on a top-secret challenge, to build an aircraft that could fly into heavily defended airspace without being detected by radar. Using advanced radar absorbent materials and a completely unique design based on mathematics and computer simulations, the F-117 was born. Officially, the project was known as, Have Blue, in its early stages and later became the F-117 Nighthawk. The first flight took place in 1981, but the aircraft remained classified and hidden from public view until it was officially acknowledged in 1988. By that time, it had already become operational in secret with the U.S. Air Force. Only 64 F-117s were ever built, including five prototypes. All were single-seat, twin-engine aircraft designed for precision strikes under the cover of darkness. Now let's talk about the design that made the F-117 so special. Unlike traditional fighter jets with smooth curves and sleek frames, the Nighthawk was built using flat, angled surfaces designed to deflect radar waves. Its shape gave it an otherworldly appearance, often described as an alien or bat-like jet. The airframe was coated with radar-absorbent material, and every detail, from the engine intakes to the exhaust nozzles, was crafted to reduce the plane's radar cross-section to near invisibility. Although the F-117 looks like a fighter, it was actually designed as a ground-attack aircraft. It carried two internal weapon bays and typically used precision-guided bombs like the GBU-10 Paveway-2 or the GBU-27 Laser-Guided Bomb. These bombs allowed the Nighthawk to strike high-value targets with pinpoint accuracy while remaining undetected. The aircraft had a maximum speed of around 684 miles per hour or Mach 0.92, just under the speed of sound. While not supersonic, speed wasn't the F-117's goal. Its mission was stealth and precision. The Nighthawk could fly up to 45,000 feet and had a range of about 1,070 miles without refueling. For longer missions, it relied on in-air refueling by tankers. Inside the cockpit, the F-117 featured advanced avionics for the time, including a heads-up display, terrain-following radar, infrared targeting systems, and satellite navigation. But the pilot still needed incredible focus and skill to fly such a uniquely unstable aircraft. Unlike traditional jets that rely on aerodynamic stability, the Nighthawk required constant computer input to stay airborne, making it one of the first aircraft to be fully fly-by-wire. Now let's talk about combat history. The F-117 earned its reputation in the skies over Panama, Iraq, Serbia, and elsewhere. Its combat debut came in 1989 during Operation Just Cause in Panama, but its real coming out party was during the Gulf War in 1991. Flying less than 2.5% of the total combat missions, the Nighthawk struck more than 40% of the high-value targets in Iraq with unmatched accuracy. It played a crucial role in knocking out enemy command centers, air defenses, and communication hubs before the larger air force began their missions. In some missions, multiple F-117s would fly deep into Iraqi airspace completely undetected, drop their bombs, and return safely, all while enemy radar systems failed to even know they were there. One of the most talked about missions was the bombing of Baghdad at the start of Operation Desert Storm. At that time, Baghdad was one of the most heavily defended cities in the world, but the F-117s flew straight through its defenses and delivered deadly payloads with pinpoint precision. Not a single F-117 was shot down during the entire Gulf War. In 1999, 
the Nighthawk was again used during NATO's air campaign in Kosovo. This time, however, one F-117 was shot down by a Serbian surface-to-air missile. The incident was shocking because the aircraft had been seen as invincible. Nevertheless, the pilot ejected and was safely rescued. The wreckage was partially recovered by Serbian forces, and it's rumored that pieces may have ended up with foreign powers. Despite its legendary status, the F-117 was eventually retired in 2008 as more advanced stealth fighters like the F-22 Raptor and later the F-35 Lightning II took its place. However, the story doesn't end there. Even today, some F-117s are still seen flying in limited roles, mostly for training and testing purposes. In fact, the U.S. Air Force has admitted to using them as aggressor aircraft to test new radar and stealth technologies. This proves that the F-117 still has value decades after it first took to the skies. Now comes the big question everyone wants to know, what was the cost of the F-117 Nighthawk in US dollars? When the program was initiated, the secrecy, limited production, and advanced materials made the F-117 one of the most expensive aircraft of its time. The estimated unit cost per aircraft was around 111.